after an extended break, the FIM Supermoto World Championship is back, kicking off at the Circuito Internazionale di Abruzzo, a returning venue from 2020. The near 1.6km layout in Ortona invites action on the dirt and tarmac sections alike and will serve as the first showcase for new innovations being brought into the championship for 2021. As always, we have riders who'll be right there in the thick of it to talk us around. Let's take a look with Diego Monticelli and Lucas Holbacher. We stand here in the first corner after the start and finish line. You can see exactly under the bridge. Uh, it's a long right corner, really fast when you come from the, uh, from the fast lap into this corner. So and after, if you watch uh, to the offer section, the enter is really close. You have to take the perfect line, the perfect gear shift down and take the speed into the chicane to the first jump. This part of the track is very important for good lap time because uh, you need to jump long, but we have uh, less space to break. And uh, when we arrive in the asphalt, we have uh, a tires dirt, it's very slippery. And when uh, we arrive in the corner, we need to stay outside and close the corner before it's possible and uh, full gas straight uh, enter in the second off-road. As you may already know, racers often like to let their bikes do the talking. So let's ride on board with Holbacher and Monticelli for a lap of the Circuito Internazionale di Abruzzo. Our two bikes launch off the line for a high-speed tour, starting with the long right-hand turn one, and then immediately flicking left with the chicane onto the dirt. That's quite a tricky braking zone. Over the first jump, and then into this S-bend with two distinct racing lines, the left lane providing a slightly faster approach to jump two. Onto the concrete, and then the tarmac, only briefly before heading onto the final dirt section of the lap, where we always see lots of side-by-side -side action. Back out onto the tarmac, and you can take liberties on the paint and curbs heading out of this left-hander for a wider entry into the next bend, which is a slightly tighter left corner. Then picking up the speed a little through this right-hander, which leads into a hairpin, which is great for diving overtakes well demonstrated there from Mr. Holbacher. New for 2021, the Joker lane is there off to the right, but we'll take a closer look at that later on. Another quick straight line blast into another hairpin as we approach the end of the lap. Another good chance to make an overtake. A quick flick is next through the chicane to set you up for the last right-hand bend, and that is a lap of a bruiser. Supermoto is my life. Supermoto is my life. Supermoto is my life. Supermoto is my life. When I get on the bike, I turn on my helmet and then it's time for racing. It's another life. When I get on the bike, I feel really happy and I, I enjoy every second. Now we race. Now we race. Now we race. Now we are going to race. I am ready. I'm 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 ready. So, Mark Rainer Schmidt is on pole for race one. With Holbacher and defending champion Thomas Charre alongside him, Monticelli, Sitniansky, and San Martin on row two. Busai, Amadeo, and Bartolini are next on row three, followed by Vertimati, De Chico, and Patrick Pals. So race number one is underway. It looks like the best start of all from Lucas Holbacher. Yes, Holbacher leads it into the first corner. We ride on board with Milan Sitniansky, who's got himself into fourth there, just behind Thomas Charret. So Mark Rainer-Schmidt is there in second place. Charret takes the 
left lane going through the dirt for the first time but it is Holbacker in the MTR KTM that leads the way on at the first lap of the race this first race is effectively the same as what you'll have seen last year the joker lap or the joker lane that we've introduced for 2021 doesn't come into effect until race number two we'll talk about that a little bit later Shah Rare already trailing off the top two Holbacher and Schmidt riding away from Shah Rare in third place and you'll notice Mark Greiner Schmidt this year is running a TM rather than a Honda. He was on a Phoenix Racing Honda last year. Now he's on a TM machine, just like this man, Shah Rare. So much more equal machinery between the two main contenders in last year's championship. And they also have to deal with the KTM of Lucas Holbacher. And it looks like Schmidt is dealing with the KTM. Yes, through into the lead goes Mark Rainer Schmidt. The Phoenix Racing TM, bike number 41, threw into the lead on the second lap of the race. Lucas Holbacher on the MTR KTM, running in second place now. Of course, his family have been running a bakery for the better part of 900 years over in Austria. That's how he uh, fills his time between race weekends. But an incredibly talented motorcycle racer as well there in second place right up amongst it and once again we have these top three riders Shah Rare, Schmidt and Holbacher the class of the field and potentially we'll see the same story as we had in 2020 with these three fighting and then the others Sidniansky, Monticelli, San Martin all names we've seen in the past and Sidniansky interesting is still running a Honda under the Phoenix Racing umbrella. The other two Phoenix entries, both TM chassis. Lap five of 16 then. And there's Holbacker looking to try and hold on to the back of Mark Rainer Schmidt. Number 41 are leading the way on our fifth lap of the race and Thomas Charret lurking in third place, the eight time world champion. Chico and Vertimati fighting a little further back. Vertimati on his home developed motorcycle. Across the line to start the sixth lap they go. It's still Schmidt. Not really getting away from Holbacker. But he's still there in the lead and that's what counts. There is Charret. Over the jumps they go yet again. There are a good few overtaking opportunities here at Abruzzo, but you've got to be close try and make a clean move stick. These riders have great respect for each other. You're not going to see any reckless lunges. And look at this. Shah Rare definitely getting closer to the back of Holbacker. Holbacker there. A little bit of a slide into the corner. Certainly a very exuberant rider, Lucas Holbacker. Thomas Shah Rare the most calculated man on a motorcycle in just about any category. Charret there in third place, half distance in this first race of the weekend. First of three races across the two days. He follows Holbacker. Back out onto the tarmac. I think Holbacker's a bit loose there. Yes, he's off the bike. And oh, Charret almost got collected. He's had to take evasive action. Holbacker getting himself back on the motorcycle in third place. But not only has that affected his race, but it also caused Charles Rare to lose a bit of time as well. And that leaves this man, Mark Rainer Schmidt, clear of the field by some way. His first world championship outing on the TM. He has been running it in other series so far this year to great success. And well, look at that gap behind him. With just six laps to go, Mark Rainer Schmidt with a distinct advantage over the order. This has to run this one home really now. Not quite so easy for teammate Milan Sitniansky or Elia Samartin, the two other Phoenix Honda riders, having to fend off for Monticelli there in fifth place. Sitniansky 
to be said, the sole Phoenix Honda this year, so that's interesting to see if he's on the Honda for the season. Looks like he's running it smoothly in P4. Charret getting noticeably closer to the back of Schmidt. Sitniansky, meanwhile. Oh, he's down. He's down as well. I think he was trying to chase Holbacker, who was just ahead. But Sitniansky has himself lost the bike, and it looks like he's going to be down out of the top half dozen once he collects this motorcycle back up. Big shame for Sitniansky. Charret still trying to hunt down Mark Rainer Schmidt, but I think time is against him here. Just two more laps to go once he crosses the stripe this time. And this is the final lap across the line to take the first win of the weekend. Mark Rainer Schmidt will be delighted with that one. Thomas Charret gets second, but Monticelli upgraded to third place. San Martin, Amadeo, Vasai, Bartolini, and Holbacker with noise issues, a decibel over the limit, drop down to eight. We are here in the choker lane. This is new for this season. We use it the first time. We have the choker lane and look at here. It's quite hard. You come here on the asphalt, you have to break quite hard and go in the sand. You have to use it just in the super, in the super race, in the last race of this weekend and you have to use it exactly one time in this race and you must use it if you don't use it you lost five positions down so it's quite a hard penalty for this one you can practice it in the in the free practice one and two and also in the warm-up and you see here the first riders go there and for sure you lost around four or five seconds because you go here to the deep sand and it's quite difficult to find a, a good way and a good speed and yeah i am really excited for this one for something new So here we are on the exit of the choker lane and it's quite difficult to come fast out here and then you have the dirt tires and come back to the main drag where you have the asphalt so for sure it's not easy to make a good pace here so it's... I'm very excited for tomorrow see you there ciao Sunday morning in Ortona and two races for the S1 GP competitors. The teams, riders and personnel are getting ready for the new for 2021 fast race. It will be the first of the weekend to feature the Joker Lane and it's slightly shorter than the other races. It will also determine our grid for the Super Final. race is underway 12 laps of racing who's going to lead into turn one it's Lucas Holbacker but a good run from Mark Rainer Schmidt he's through into the lead before they even get onto the dirt Mark Rainer Schmidt stamping his authority immediately Holbacker goes the other way through the S-Bend to try and get a better run over the dirt but he's not going to do that Mark Rainer Schmidt there immediately into the lead of the race he's really gelling with that TM factory motorcycle KTM from the MTR team under Lucas Holbacker. That looks like an improved package for 2021 as well. Of course, Charles Rare, a known commodity on his TM chassis. Getting on board with Milan Sitniansky behind Diego Monticelli, last year's S2 European champion, making the step up to S1 for this season. Look at Holbacker. Under pressure from Charret. It's lap two of the race then. Charret still on the back of the MTR KTM. Holbacker, I think, is focusing forward more so than backward here. He's uh, wanting to try and get around Mark Rainer Schmidt if he possibly can over the course of this 12 lap fast race. Charret. 
still just biding his time, although he can't really afford to do so. He needs to be ahead of Holbacker here to be within a chance in the points table of taking the uh, victory across the round. He really can't do with Mark Rainer Schmidt taking another victory here. Just 25 points for a win in the fast race as opposed to 30 in the other two. being gapped slightly by Holbacker and Rainer Schmidt, it must be said. And look at Holbacker, he dives to the inside at the last corner, but can't quite make it stick. Rainer Schmidt back through. Always a bold move at the last corner here at Abruzzo. On that occasion, it didn't work in Lucas Holbacker's favour. Thankfully, no harm, no foul, they continue on their way. Sidney Anski still there in fifth place following Monticelli. He runs a bit wide through the hairpin. Is anyone going to take an advantage? Yes, Elias Samartin through into fifth position. Sitniansky demoted to sixth place. Samartin, of course, on another Phoenix Racing TM. Still a Phoenix Honda underneath Milan Sitniansky. Backer getting closer to the back of Mark Rainer Schmidt. Just over half distance in this fast race, and Holbacker has had a couple of momentary flashes of the lead of the race, but he's not been able to deal with Mark Rainer Schmidt yet. San Martin has caught up to Monticelli. Is he going to be able to find a way around the number 68? He does through and past the S2 champion of last year. Rainer Schmidt still under pressure, but he's managing it well. Tom Charret, the eight-time world champion, of course. Such a decorated racer in the World Supermoto Championship. And this year, with an improved MTR KTM, with Mark Rainer Schmidt, on another TM as opposed to his Honda from last year. This could be the stiffest competition that Tom Charret has ever faced. And it looks like Rainer Schmidt is going to take the win. Comes across the line now to take it. Yes, the fast race goes to Mark Rainer Schmidt. That, of course, is pole position for the super final as well. Holbacker taking second. Thankfully, no issues with noise regarding the motorcycle this time. So he takes second place. Charret. San Martin and Monticelli are top five ahead of Milan Sitniansky, the first of the Honda riders. What a race that was. We move on to the super final. I'm happy with the race, definitely. We, Thomas, with Mark and me, it's incredible high the, the level. And to stay such a race long, for me, I'm happy. And uh, yeah, still working. Thanks for the best. KTM bike which I ever ride and uh, we continue to progress and uh, to develop. And... A very handy nine point advantage for Schmidt heading into the super final then and Lucas Holbacker has to outscore San Martin and Monticelli by a point to secure a podium for the round here in Ortona. It's the usual suspects on the front row for the super final with Schmidt on pole ahead of Holbacker and Charret. Monticelli is next, followed by Sitniansky and San Martin. Busai, Amadeo, and Bartolini will line up next with Vertimati, De Chico, and Pals on the fourth row. So then the grid for the super final lines up and we're underway. Looks like it's Lucas Holbacker with the best start of all. Yes, he leads into turn one. Rainer Schmidt there with him in second place, followed by Charret. Some dramas further back. I think Monticelli and Sitniansky, who are on board with there, missing the first chicane onto the dirt. Sitniansky all the way down into 13th place. No such dramas for Holbacker at the front, though. He leads from Schmidt and Charret, the top three once again. Mark Rainer Schmidt this time isn't at the head of the field in the early going. From Super Bowl onwards, he has more or less been dominating this race weekend. Charret here in third position, following him close. 
look at the attacking stance on the Phoenix Racing TM ahead of him. Mark Rainer Schmidt clearly wants to find a way past Lucas Holbacher as soon as possible. Third lap of the race. How precise they are going through the chicane onto the dirt. Of course, we'll have to see when they take that joker lane as well. Across the line to start the fourth lap of the race. And Schmidt is right on the back of Holbacher. Now, will he be able to make the move on track or will he maybe go for an early run through the joker lane? We'll have to see. The MTR KTM still leading the pair of TM chassis and going wide and into the joker lane is Thomas Charrere. He takes one of the posts down as he goes through, but he's the first of the top three to take the joker lane. And there's been a move for the lead. Mark Rainer Schmidt now leads the race. Lucas Holbacher demoted to second place. So Rainer Schmidt maybe noticed that Charrere was no longer behind him and realized now was the time to get past Holbacher and set some fast lap times onto the sixth lap of the race. And it looks as though Schmidt's taking the joker. Yes, he does. A little cautious. It's a very tricky part of the circuit. He just about gets in front of Charrere, but Charrere with the cleaner tyres. Is he going to be able to find a way by? It doesn't look like it. Schmidt still in second place then, just comes out ahead of Thomas Charrere. That leaves Holbacher alone at the front of the order. But of course, he has to go through the joker lane himself. And he's going to need to do it quite quickly to come out ahead. Schmidt and Charrere. The best thing that we can have for Lucas Holbacher here is a fight between Schmidt and Charrere. If they hold each other up, that will be to his advantage. He's through the joker lane now. He's very quick in there. Wax the tyre barriers and he doesn't quite come out ahead. Schmidt there into the lead. Holbacher looks to the inside, but he isn't quite able to take the lead back. So it is Mark Rainer Schmidt into the lead of the race and Holbacher holds on to second place. Charrere is going to be fuming with that one didn't quite manage to make any progress. He was the first one to take the joker lane, but he wasn't quite able to get ahead of either Holbacher or Schmidt in the process. And of course, this is great for Mark Rainer Schmidt as well to have Holbacher between himself and Thomas Charrette. Mark Rainer Schmidt will be delighted with how things have gone to this point, but he's still got Five laps of racing left to go here, and he's still got Lucas Holbacher right behind him, and you can never discount the MTR KTM rider. Look at him again, always so aggressive, under braking in particular. Holbacher looking very attacking indeed, and Charrere once again, you can almost see him pulling up a deck chair there. He's just going to watch and see whether an opportunity arrives for him. Monticelli and Sitniansky, meanwhile. Sitniansky recovering well. He's all the way up to sixth place, having been right down at the back of the order after that moment on the first lap. Meanwhile, Schmidt, Holbacher, Charret. Back out onto the tarmac. Not long left to run here. Schmidt is doing a brilliant job of staving off the advances of Lucas Holbacher. His first ever world championship meeting on a TM and a holdback is through, but only for a few seconds, if that. Again, that last corner, not quite able to make it stick and Rainer Schmidt through the last chicane for the final time. No move from Lucas Holbacher. It's a win for Mark Rainer Schmidt. Holbacher holds on to second place. And Thomas Charrere is third in a hotly contested motorcycle race. That was absolutely excellent stuff. San Martin, Monticelli, Sidney Ansky, the top six after that one. What superb motorcycle racing that was. And so in the round itself, 81 points maximum score, including a point for Super Pole for Mark Rainer Schmidt. Charrere and Holbacher are there, second and third place ahead of San Martin and Monticelli. A recovery to third for Lucas Holbacher after a fall in that first race, and then the penalty for the bike being slightly above the noise limit. He'll be happy. A good start for Charrere also, but he's going to have to dig deep to beat this man, Mark Rainer Schmidt 
who seems to be gelling with his new TM motorcycle very nicely. Mark Rainer-Schmidt takes the spoils in Ortona. It was a fantastic weekend for me. I take the best lap in qualifying immediately after the Super Bowl with a new lap record. I feel fantastic with the bike. We made quite a good setup with Andriani and I'm really happy to be here with the Phoenix team. I win all the three races, so I take the red plate, lead the championship and can't wait for the next round in Czech Republic. And there we have it, a very strong 18-point lead for Mark Rainer Schmidt heading into the next round of the series with the eight-time world champion Thomas Charret leading that chasing pack. I've been Adam Weller and we'll be back again soon with more from the FIM Supermoto World Championship at round two in the Czech Republic.